According to Bankrate, half of American credit card holders carry a balance month to month. And although there's not a one-size-fits-all solution to paying down debt, we want to talk about one particular method, debt consolidation. Here with more, we've got David Kimball, who is the CEO of Prosper, a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform that offers products like home improvement and medical loans, as well as, of course, debt consolidation loans. David, great to have you here with us. So what are some of the reasons for consolidating debt? I think the biggest reason is you have higher interest rates. So you mentioned earlier, a number of people have card balances and those typically have higher interest rate costs. And so you're looking for a way to reduce those interest rate costs, real money to you. And so typically when you're looking at a debt consolidation loan, you're moving from these higher interest rate loans to something that is typically going to be lower interest rate loans. So that's the biggest motivation there. It's, it's a way to reduce that cost. And then a lot of times then with uh, credit card loans, you are on a revolving basis. So you're really perpetually paying. A debt consolidation loan puts you on an amortizing loan and it puts you in a place where you are over a period of anywhere from two to five to six to seven years paying down that loan so that you get to a balance of zero instead of having perpetually that balance outstanding. So give us the benefits and drawbacks of debt consolidation that people need to keep in mind. Well, the first thing I would say is what you have to do is you've got to face your finances. And so on the one hand, people would say that's a drawback. I don't want to do it, but it really is a benefit. You've got to take a look at the existing loans that you have outstanding. You need to understand the terms of those loans. You need to understand how much you've got outstanding. You need to understand what you're paying in terms of fees and what you're paying in terms of interest rates. Once you have that knowledge base, then it's time for you to take a look at what are the other options for me. And so if you take a look at a debt consolidation loan, you can find something with a lower interest rate. You're going to find something, again, if you're comparing the total fees and the total interest rate of that debt consolidation loan to the information you already have on your existing loans, you're then doing a comparison between those two. If you're able to find then a debt consolidation loan that has a lower interest rate, one of the drawbacks may be that you're actually paying more principal balance over time. So if you're short on cash flow, you have to come up with more money up front. But ultimately what that's doing is it's creating a pro. The pro is you're reducing your absolute cost. So it really comes down to whether or not you have the capacity. And ultimately, if you don't change your habits, if you keep spending the way you were spending, you're going to take these, the stuff from your credit card, put it on a debt consolidation loan. Your credit card balance or your credit card lines are still open. If you begin to spend on your credit card lines again, what you're doing at that point is creating more debt. That's also a drawback. So really, you need to face your finances. You need to understand them. You need to make a budget. And for some people, you're going to have to change your spending behavior for this to be a really effective tool. All right. A lot of people's ears are burning. Their heart might be on fire right now. So let's give them some active tips about consolidating debt here. Where, do they can, be, where can they begin? Well, the first thing you can do is take a look and go online. Look for debt consolidation loans. There are places like our website at prosper.com. You can look at our blog and take a look at just quick financial uh, help, me, uh, help items on our blog. You can look at Investopedia. You can look at a number of those places to understand really what I'm getting into. When you look at that, you can do a pre-approval. So you can apply for a loan without actually affecting your credit. Take a look at that, what that cost is, so you can determine whether or not it's right for you. So I'd say take a look and uh, look at blogs, look at uh, information sources so you can really understand the process here. Once again, understand your existing finances. Do a pre-approval. Take a, a look at whether or not what you have on the one side is going to be better on the other side by comparing my existing to what the future could be. Once you feel comfortable with that, then go for it. And David, we got to leave things there on the day. There, there's so much more that we could discuss with this. We got to have you back to continue the conversation. David Kimball, who is the CEO of Prosper. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.